day guys Jelly Cube Australia Queensland Australia pouring for you today um, trying to give you a few tips and tricks and yeah that's what my art channel is about is um, I try to um, explore uh, the possibilities in acrylic art and um, try different things all the time and that's what I enjoy doing kind of making my art room like an art lab a lot of the times there are things I love doing. Yeah, anybody knows me, I love balloon work. Uh, trying to work with uh, different techniques with the balloon. Today, I'm actually going to do, um, basically I'm gonna do some negative space and I'm gonna use the little cups. I might be doing a flip and drag um, with the little cups, but we'll see how we go. I wanted to change this to in a bit of um, I want to do one side red and one side white. I suppose because we've got Valentine Day coming up, so there may be some people that um, want to do a Valentine's pour, so might be. Whether it ends up that way, I have no idea because I just literally go with the flow and do whatever seems to um, happen on the canvas at the time leads me that way. So I will just quickly just putting some paint I'm not going to be too fancy here because um, I'm not too fancy so I just quickly uh, using the spatula you can use your fingers that's absolutely fine as anyone knows in my art room uh, the, the rule is there's no rules so just go for it let your creative juices flow <laughs> okay I will worry about the edges afterwards, not a problem. I can finish those, so I'm going to do white on the other side. So all the paints I'm using today are the Montmartre Studio Acrylics. I have a link for them in my drop down box. I have a pouring re medium recipes there for what I've used for the particular day. So that's also there. Um, I'm gonna use my fingers. I'm gonna get in and get dirty. Okay, got to watch that up and eye because it will go pink. So yes, my suppliers, my suppliers here in Australia, the links online suppliers there, you'll find everything I use there and more. <laughs> um, the American and Canada suppliers, there's a link also there for you too. I've pulled out some red on that, but that's okay. Not gonna worry at all. Okie dokie, having lots of wet rainy weather here in Australia at the moment and obviously from what we have had with the fires it's a welcome relief but um, we're having quite a lot of it now, oh poop, never mind it'll add to it. I'm not going to even worry about getting that out because I can go over that with my um, little cup, little cup pour that I'm going to be doing on there. So it's all good. I might put a little bit more of this covering any areas that look a bit thin. Yeah, don't let anything stress you out about this. So I'm going to just layer a few colours in this and I'll explain as I go along. I'm going to put I'm going to put some white that I had pre-mixed pre using up a few things that I had pre-mixed. So I'll go the white. I will go the lovely turquoise. If anyone that knows me loves the turquoise, what I'm doing is I'm just tipping down the very uh, lip, the edge of the cup. So try not to mix too much. I'm going to add some gold that I have left over there. So there we go. I'm going to add a bit of the deeper turquoise. It was the turquoise and I added blue to it to send it that lovely kind of teal color. Um, where are we again? I go back to the white. To the white. And some more gold. Uh, okay. 
that may be enough. So I'm just going to make some of these little cups up ready to swirl through. Go back to the teal again because all of these colours that I'm using will go really nicely with the red and the white. So add some more gold. Where am I again? Okay, red gold. Go with that lighter one, the lighter turquoise. I actually throw some of this burnt umber. This was burnt umber and I added a blob of black because it sends it a really nice chocolatey colour. So it's another one. I don't think I need three cups to go through there, but you never know. So I might, um, I may start with one. So the, the teeny tiny cups, might put a bit more white on top of that. See how we go. Might do flip cup there. Ooh, dear. All of these cups I have added, um, two drops of my Helmar silicon, but the recipe is in the drop down box underneath. So I don't keep any secrets. It's all there for you guys. Do another flip cup there. Oh, see the cells are automatically coming up. That looks good. All good. So, so, so. This looks interesting. It's gonna just, you just, fixing up any little areas but remember it doesn't have to be perfect it's abstract painting just enjoy the process really that's all it's about now let's see how we go maybe I should put a little hole in the side of my cup but I'm not going to I'm going to just gently Goodness me, goodness me. Let's behave nicely. Oh, what did I do? Go oh, on, losing me marbles, I tell you. Okay. Let's just go with it. Let's go with it. There's a little bit left in here, so I'm going to just run it through. Just lip it. It'll be pretty, I'm sure. Might be pretty, it could be pretty awful, but at least it'll be pretty. All right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just get my little heat gun and give that a little, my heat wand, should I say, my wonder wand. Wonder wand. Okay, here we go. This doesn't blow it around too much, but I just want to see what I can bring up before I tilt. It's not much happening in that, so that's fine. I would just tilt it around, see how we go. See how we go. Okay, back this way. Okay. Let's just go with it. I've got so much happening here, there and everywhere. I'm, I've got my eye on one place that I'm tilting, but obviously the paint's um, here, there and everywhere. Can always, you can always fix it up afterwards, add some something else to it if you don't like it. And that's it, if you don't like it, there is always someone out there that'll love it. Really is. So, sorry if I keep it's going out of the frame, but I just want to concentrate a little bit on getting this working, working the canvas nicely. Okay. Ooh, okay. That was in a really big long canvas. That would be so nice up on the wall. Okay, I'm going to just work with this for a few 
minutes obviously so I'll just make sure I'm going to just make sure my edges are covered so with the red it's you can finger pop the edges um, just using your fingers there's nothing it's it's all fine absolutely covers your edges just still just as nicely just dabbing your edges I won't do back over the white I suppose that might be a bit too much but that's pretty striking. I'm gonna see if I can bring any cells up in that, but that's pretty nice without cells, isn't it? So, just give it a go. Lacing that's come up there. a true abstract it's uh, abstract with the uh, negative space what I will do is I obviously will leave this and I'm sure more um, things will progress and pop up through this so what I'll do is I'll put some photographs on at the end um, with my pieces when they're fully dry I'll put a little video on my acrylic art by Jilly Q Facebook page so if anybody wants to see the pieces dry they can um, pop in there but yeah it's kind of a like true abstract um, quite striking with the uh, turquoise and red having that white so it's uh, absolutely gorgeous I am happy with that and that's all oh, oh, got you a little bit back. there you go so that's a little bit I will come back and try and um, if I embellish it with anything which is a, just a couple of things that I could do with this and what is nice to do so you don't have hard edges is with your skewer not the pointy end the soft end you just want to run some pieces out is just I've got a hair in that so try to get the hairs out but you can always do some little pieces through it. It just, you know, stops you having such hard edges as I call it. And it adds a little bit more of you in there. So it's just following your pieces and like a, just wiggling it out, I suppose. Just probably a good idea to keep wiping in between each wiggle. It's just, yay. You can fiddle with it and do what you like until you're happy with it. But it certainly does, you know, when you have a little bit of a play in with it. With something that's like this, it can, um, that's it, just lift it to another level. It's, it's actually quite therapeutic doing this kind of thing with it. Which I always love the... Um, I love playing with them. I mean, sometimes you, I have definitely gone too far and thought, no, I should have learnt restraint, but... Yeah, I'm just taking a bit of this red and seeing if I can introduce a bit of red up here into that, which is fine. So, again, I'll use a bit of my red, go the opposite way. See what we can do in in the red, if anything. Oh well, yeah, that that drags through nicely. All fun and games, I say. All fun and games. But it's a bit of a different colour combo together, which I think it's always nice, especially for me to try different things for you guys. And you think, well, no, that didn't work, Jilly. But um, you've got to give things a go and that's all that it matters. So heavy criticisms and being nasty to, uh, if you have people be nasty about your artwork, that's them, they're not, you don't want them in your life or you don't want them on your channel. So 
is because everything is the beauty is in the high of the eye of the beholder. So there's my fiddling. It's kind of I know it's so strange the things that I think of okay nothing complicated about that but it's striking and those are the things that will really sell quickly so if you're looking for something that sells I can tell you from my experience something that you think is simple but it's striking it will sell so thanks guys thanks again thank you for subscribing thank you for watching and until next time, bye for now. Okay, I'm back for bonus bits. Uh, I know that painting looked fine as it was, but I want to jillify it. So those that liked it exactly as it was, turn off your YouTube channel now. <laughs> I'm coming back and I'm going to balloon it. I'm going to balloon it and um, make some magic happen. Just bear with me. Just did a few little balloons. I love it. Cannot lie, I just love my balloons. You may say you should have stopped, you should have done that, but you know what? It's my art, my way. <laughs> Holy dooly. Let's add some over here. In the red in and back to the turquoise here oh my goodness just gives me another idea for another whole piece this does just thought I'd come back probably annoys you very much but sorry I love it just oh, just change a whole painting I mean it doesn't actually look like you've used a balloon sometimes just create some other kind of dimension in there but I like it I'm gonna see oh look at that I think I have to do a canvas and just swap over the colors from one side to the other just with the balloon see how that turns out another idea for um, that side's okay isn't it she says okay just having a little bit of negative space see I'm I'm finding a little bit restrained here bear with me bear with me I think this needs a bit of interest well it's brought the red through nicely you know what? Now I'm happy. Okay, I wasn't happy with it before, so it doesn't matter what anybody thinks or says about your work, how you should have left it, you should have done this, you should have done that. It's you that has to be happy with it. I'm very happy with that now. So, gosh, it comes to a sad old world when balloons make you so happy. There you go, all done and dusted, and it's absolutely flipping stunner. Look at it, it is a stunner. There you go, simplicity, easy peasy Japanesey. It's a beauty. Okay, thanks guys for joining me, my crazy, crazy balloon lady.